plant-based mashed potato. <laughs> read the bit above it. I can't read it. I can't. Yeah. yeah. It says plant-based mashed potato. This is why aliens fly straight past us. <laughs> if you hadn't already guessed, Dave and Dave are back. So, I, what? I've got to go and do my brother a favour, but before I can go, I have to have their breakfast. What? You can smell the toast, can't you? Hey, eh? that's what that's about. So. One coffee with a little tiny bit of milk, one coffee with a normal bit of milk, put a bit more water in there. Yeah, back on the build today. Oh, what? You are such a prima donna biscuit. This is not your toast, this is Dave and Dave's toast. So, if you were here when we were building the granny flat, you know, it's, it became a tradition that every morning the guys had toast and marmalade, toast and marmite, basically whatever preserves we had in the, in the fridge. And it's kind of, kind of kicked off again, you know. It's just a nice way for them to start the day and me to show my appreciation by toast. One, two. Yummy. That will set them up for the next couple of hours. I have to go to Michael's place and look at his sheep. Someone daring to walk the footpath? Oh yeah. Morning world, and welcome to Friday, 17th of March. Look at the state of it. Right, I can't be long, because in two hours, the electrician's coming over to go through the electrical requirements for our veranda. So, just power points and lights and stuff like that. Nothing, nothing too complicated, but it's something I want to have a chat with him with. But this morning, Michael asked me to go over and just check on his animals for him. I've already done mine, don't worry. Um, because he's got to go for some appointment this morning for some tests for something or other. And today's the day he starts lambing. So he just sat, asked me if I could go over, because he's, he's gone early and he's not gonna be back till maybe lunchtime-ish. He's asked me to go over mid-morning well, it'll be nine o'clock time I get there, just to check on his stock for him, which he would do it for me, so I'll do it for him. So I think today, Dave wants to get um, the boarding on, the veranda, and the felt on. We've got battens as well, so we can get it all battened down. Um, Basically, we're going to see if we can have some kind of roof on it for over the weekend. Um, Mrs. P will then have a far better idea of what she's going to be coming home to. Um, and there's another reason I can't be gone for too long. I think it's uh, eight before sheets, and it kind of really needs all three of us, Dave, Dave and me, to, to get them up there. So, um, yeah, I can't be gone too long, so I'm really hoping that nothing's lambing, because that's what we're going down to. Um, I've not actually seen Michael's sheep. He bought some sheep, um, oh, a month, six weeks ago, and he's got them in one of his sheds. So you'll see one of Michael's sheds. You might have glimpsed them before 
in the past um, when I was over near the farm. But um, yeah, we're going to go and look at his sheep. Morning, Mr. Chaffinch. How are you today? Welcome to Michael's farm. And there's his girls. I don't think they're supposed to be over there. Right, so we've got an escapee. This could liven things up a bit. You'd better stay there, I think. Right then, madam. You shouldn't be out here, should you? Right, you can't actually escape out of here for a minute. So it looks like she's gone under that gate. So I saw the wool. But she obviously really, really wanted to get out of there. Thing is, if I open that, they're going to be gone. Um, can I shut them next door while I get her back in? Hello girls, hello, hello, hello. So these are easy care ewes. Um, my brother's got a thing for easy care. Not my cup of tea, but you know, each their own. I'd say there's nothing there that's gonna lamb in the next 10 minutes. You're not bagged up, you're not bagged up. You're not bagged up. You're starting, you're not bagged up, you are. So if anyone's going to lamb, it's probably going to be her. Right, can I shut these through in here? I bet. Oh. Right. Well, I know where my race went now. It's over there. Michael. The race that you were going to borrow for a couple of weeks and bring back. So, yeah, so the race is over there, and all my hurdles are in there. Brothers. Uh, I wonder if I go the way around. If I get her in there, that might work better. That might work better. You got out there, and now you want to get back in. Is that what it is? Yeah, she, she's not far away. So, the tail on it. How tame are you? Come on up. Or just do that. That worked. Right. Um. Not easy one-handed. Let's hope she doesn't try that again. Don't try that again. Yeah. Wants a bit of TLC, like roof wants coming off and putting back on again. But um, yeah, nice little project for my brother to get his teeth stuck into. Right, so I'm not really needed here, which means I can go home and get ready for the electrician. Look at her already looking at how to get out. So it's not a case of she wanted to get back in. She wanted to teach other ones how to get out. Little tinker. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay. He's inherited the great big pile of plastic. I'm sure he's overjoyed about that. Yeah, so this is this is Michael's bit of the farm. Um, I'm only going to share this bit of video if he doesn't mind me um, showing you his barns and that. So um, if he does mind me showing his barns, then you'll never see this. <coughs> right. Okay. That's that job done. Duty ticked. There's quite a lot to do down here. So this has been um, farmed by a neighbour for years and years and years and there are there are some muddles to clear up so we'll see how that goes so, there's uh, muddles that farmers accumulate over decades they're not always that keen that keen to shift and then a bloody good muddle in there so oh well is that a little doggy yeah, the little doggy. That was a grumpy. Don't be so grumpy, you. <laughs> yeah, you misery guts, ain't you? That bloody corner wasn't cutting back, Michael. All right, so. Uh, his sheep are okay. Uh, there's one in there that could lamb. Well, she's, she's about fit, ready to burst, to be honest, so she could lamb at any time. But unfortunately, I don't have the luxury of the time to stand over there and watch it just in case. Um, I'm sure she'll be fine. So, and Michael will be back in three hours. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a big, big issue. So. Okay, so, home. What a difference a day makes. It's not coming off there now, is it? Hey? It's not coming off there now. Oh, I don't know. I thought I'd come out and make you a bit more famous. A bit more of a ledge. <laughs> a bit more of a ledge. Infamous. Infamous legend. Oh, we'll catch, this, catch this for health and safety then. Eh? Catch this for health and safety, you'll love it. Self and hafty? Okay, I just didn't see anything dangerous. What? Didn't see <laughs> You can keep that pen. Oh. It's yours. You know quite Dave's pen. Oh. <laughs> Is it your birthday, Dave? <laughs> Is it? What do you want for your birthday, Dave? Eh? He's gonna have given him a pen, he's can't have another pen. <laughs> Last time it was your birthday you had a trowel and some spirit levels, some spirit didn't you? Levels, yeah. 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 What would you like for your birthday this time, Dave? Oh nothing. Nothing? Love of a good woman. Oh alright. <laughs> Any good women ain't there? <laughs> Progress. But then you already knew that, didn't you? Because you were up on the roof of us a little bit earlier. Poor Dave. He doesn't know quite how to take all this. 
Um, we've had another one of you subscribers come in today, come in to pick up some cakes from Holly, actually. And uh, obviously recognised him and go, hello, Dave. <laughs> You're famous. What's it like to be famous? And he, he honestly doesn't know where to put himself with that because it's just like, it's completely fish out of water. He thinks you're all mad to find me even faintly interesting. Mind you, I, all, I, I wonder sometimes what, what it is you lot find interesting. But anyway, anyway, I diversify or moving away from the subject. So this is Mrs. P's, I say Mrs. P's, is ours. This is our veranda and this is progress so far. Um, so you can see the size of it. It's gotta be, it's gotta be big enough that if we want to entertain in here, there there needs to be there needs to be room. But this thing is going to fulfil a number of um, tasks, a number of duties, including in the winter months somewhere for me to put firewood. At the moment, I'm bringing logs up every other day in the wheelbarrow, barrow full at a time from the barn, and that's okay. I don't mind doing that. But if we get a little snow forecast or something, and I've got to push a barrow up through snow. It's kind of a bit, well, I don't really want to do that. So I wanted somewhere where I could literally put a load of logs against the wall if we needed to, and we've got, we've got a store in here. Um, so log store, that's one. Uh, two, yes, it is somewhere for us to sit in the shade in the summer because that's due south. And in the winter months, we bought it high enough. In the winter months when the sun's a bit lower, there should still be plenty of light coming in here, but in the summer months when the sun's higher, we'll have some shade. And I'm, I'm no big fan of bright, hot sunshine. Mrs. P likes it, but again, not too much. Um, so we've still got to put the uh, timber um, and the batten and the uh, felt on that bit there. So all that and this here, this is actually the finished article. So. We're not having it enclosed in because there's no need for insulation or anything like that. And I just wanted the timber effect in here. Um, this up here, we're going to have to get some uh, plastic sheeting actually cut to fit because they don't make it in that length standard. I can't remember, it's 2.4 meters. No, it's more than that, 4.2 meters, sorry. 4.2 meters, I think it is. So you can't buy that standard. So we're going to have to have some sheets of that cut. I've had the price for that, scary scary mind you in saying that we got the price today for just i want to match up the fascia with what's on the house now which is this light oak and yeah it was really 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 expensive just the corner caps i think something like 18 quid for a corner cap and it's like like where a white one is four quid you know just the, the difference in price of it but you know we want to match it we want to make it look nice so that's kind of that's what it is it is what it is uh so we yet have got to finish off getting the uh roof done um this will be tiled that will be sheeted uh the electrician came in today so we're having a couple of power points put in here um and then we're going to have some three one two three sets of bright strip lights just bog standard ish strip lights which are nice and bright so if i want to do anything in here in the evening it's really bright um if i thought to read a map or read a book or something that i got but they'll be individually switched so i can have as on as many or as few as i want and then on these pillars only the middles of one two three we're going to have little brushed stainless steel up down lighters and that will give enough light that if we wanted to eat out here or something, we would have, like I say, enough light to um, to light a table. Um, yeah. And then um, photocell light on the end of that corner there, which would basically light up everything out there. So we could sit in here, basically, if we want to sit in here in the dark and just have the sheds lit up, we can do that. We've already got lights out there that can light up that. So literally, if we want to, we can sit in here won't be dead dark, but we in darkish, and just look out there. Should be nice. It should be nice. So uh, yeah, it's um, it's coming along 
pretty much on schedule where we want to be. So at the moment, really happy with it also. Dave's done a cracking good job. Um, he is what I would class as a finickety craftsman. If it ain't quite right, it annoys him. So although he does see, to say he can't see it from his house, which is the standard joke, does that look all right? Yeah, that looks all right. That's all right. I can't see it from my house. That's the standard joke. But honestly, he does care. And he, he measures everything two, three times before he cuts it. And everything fits nice and snug and tight. And yeah, lots of finishing to be done yet. Um, we're just trying to work out how much stone we're going to need in here because obviously this is um, road planings. You can't lay, you can't lay slabs on top of road planings. It has to be on um, a non bitumen surfaced stone. So we're going to have to put type one in there. Um, if you, if you put cement on top of tarmac, there's like a chemical reaction and it will just come apart. So, so yeah, I might even, maybe, we'll see, maybe we'll put a membrane down in here, stop any damp coming up. So it might be worth getting some DPM first and just putting that down, whacking this down, putting that down, putting some tight one on, or maybe just doing the tight one and laying, I don't know. I'll ask him about that, so. But yeah, um, like I say, I'm, I'm really pleased with where we're going so far. I think this is going to be a great addition to the house, and I've got a funny feeling we're going to spend quite a lot of time in here in the summer. So, <coughs> and if we want to entertain, it means we haven't got our people in the house. And that might sound a bit if or offy, but it's, uh, it's a case of, you know, you don't always want people in your house. Um, and it's quite nice that, you know, if you can invite them in and have a cup of tea or whatever else. And I, I just should be outside anyway, so. So there you are, that's the update. But yeah, so if you see Dave, um, so I've got plenty of people locally who follow me. So what you've got to do is you've got to go up to say, oh Dave, I saw you on the telly. Or Dave, you're famous, because it really does, it just stops him in his tracks. So if you know Dave, just remind him how famous, is, famous he is now, because he'll love that. Seriously, do it, tell him he's famous. <laughs> so on that note, I think I'm gonna call it a day, it is, Quarter past seven. Um, I've done all the feeding. I've done the mucking out down there. That's all. Everything is done. Um, everything's put tidy-ish up here. Um, yeah. Roll on tomorrow. Mrs. P's home tomorrow. So, and she'll get her first idea of what we're doing. So, I might video her reaction. That may or may not be on a video, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs>